Hi everyone, Josh at Encore Mustang Parts Warehouse with a very clean upper and lower stock Fox body manifold for you to look at today. And while you're looking, I would love anyone's input as to where the heck did this thing come from? Now, I got this as a trade-in set from a local customer. What I've looked at for better part of a year now is just how unmolested this thing really appears to be I, I don't know how much of this was used or installed usually you see the bolt marks or chips or something on this plate which i don't see on this one there's some very weird and clean but weird mark here what's a number four does anybody in the uh subscriber group here uh, or viewers today have any clue why like in the engineering department they would have marked with a, a sharpie on an intake manifold that still appears to be darn near new um there's no stains on any of these hoses or where a hose would be installed on these uh, brass pieces I, I can't see if an egr nut has been installed on either of these two studs now I've seen interesting pink marks like this in the past, or we'll call that a fluorescent orange maybe. I mean, is this a defect part? Is this a prototype part? Can anybody help uh, ID what's really going on here? Um, getting back to stains and piping, I mean, usually there would be a, a differentiation, a discoloration anywhere other than, I mean, there's dirt on here that comes right off, but you know, usually you see some kind of wear inside here look how much dust is in here has that been connected to the breather to the pcv i mean really it's just such a a clean piece let's go down the throttle body where everything is bright and shiny sure is so uh i've got this piece advertised right now as a new takeoff there's some corrosion from sitting but gosh um but i'd really like to know before i absolutely let it go what the heck is it as you can see i mean it's got dirt and slop and stuff from uh storage the dog shaking loose on a rainy day here in the shop those types of things but really as far as the indicators of use i really just don't see them um so we've looked at the upper you know there's no real markings here to show that it's been apart and together and apart again. It's got IAC bolts here. Do we know if they were ever used, tightened? It's just it's just so unique. It definitely stands out in the crowd of um, intake manifolds. The lower, just immaculate, other than shop dirt and whatnot. The gasket surfaces are perfect. The bolts, look at look at these bolts. Just so shiny. Has, has the uh, idle intake air temp sensor ever been in there? I do see a little maybe residue from that Loctite, but I mean, it's just it's just so freaking clean. Uh, the part number on the upper comes back as a 1990 uh, production date as well. So we're going to go with that. I'll show that before we close out the video here. engine coolant type sensor been in the heater core supply tube you know it doesn't look like there's ever been anything installed it's just so weird um and with the markings that handwritten for that that residue of tape you know what what is this does anybody know beyond the fact that it's a stock stupid clean upper lower intake you know the hoses usually take some kind of wear use deformation when they've been installed. Um, same here, usually you see a stain. I've smelled the fuel rail. I don't smell any old gas. Plug back here. So just a, a really unique piece. Some of this old rubber, when it's never been used, if you've seen new old stock, rubber they kind of get there or maybe they have this kind of baby powder ish finish to them i mean i'm i'm rubbing off 30 year old baby powder from these hoses so just figured i'd 
document what still is floating around out there with all the restorations and thing go, things going on. I'm sure this would be a very sought after item just due to the fact that it's so clean and original. Now, of course, it might take a little elbow grease to get the remaining parts cleaned up. I mean, there, there, is, there has been some gaskets on it. And yeah, this makes it look very, very opposite of the top. Oh, that's actually a gasket right here, isn't it? So there is still a gasket, right? No, no. I see this little bit of gasket maker made me think the rest of this was a gasket. So again, I'm still educating myself as to what this is. Um, this is about as clean as shop storage goes around here now that I'm getting it prepared to let it move on into someone else's collection. I will uh, be cleaning it up just that tad bit more, but really didn't want to distract from just what this all is here. So if anybody has any information as to what these handwritten numbers are, what maybe that, that, that piece of sticker that's left over there might be, I'd really appreciate letting me know. And the history of this piece can live on. So thank you for your attention and checking out this manifold. And have yourself a wonderful day. It's Valentine's Day. <laughs>